Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a working anime fighting game in Roblox Studio. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to grab an island. In order to do that, we need to go to Toolbox right here. Whoops, sorry about that. And we need to type in Island. Now go ahead and get the One Piece Island. Drag and drop into here. Or if you want to make your own island, go ahead. And once you're done, just rename this to... Uh, lobby and then now what we can do is we can grab some water to make it look like an actual island so uh, let's get some water so uh, in the toolbox just type in water or ocean or whatever and I recommend getting this realistic ocean it looks nicer and it actually moves when in game um, so now what we can do is we can grab a spawn um, let's grab a spawn and let's drag and drop these invisible spawns into different areas. Now what we can do is we can make a GUI. Or actually, uh, let's let's make the teleport part really quick. So in toolbox, go ahead and type in teleport. And this is going to teleport us to a different island where we can actually battle each other. So go ahead and get these, uh, whichever teleporters you want, I'm actually going to get this. And I'm gonna get a, uh, actually, I'll make it that big. And we can grab that. And now, what we can do is we can grab a arena. Whoops, sorry. Can't type arena. And, uh, over here, we can go, um, let's see, we can go about right here and, uh, get the arena. Where is it? Okay, so just uh, put the arena wherever you want it to be. I'm going to actually get an island again. I'm going to get another island. And I'm going to set this right on to there. And actually, I'm going to get a different island. A little bit smaller. So go ahead and get your island. Bring it over here. Put in the water if you want. And I recommend uh, actually scaling the island to your size, about that big. And if uh, if I need to slow down, just uh, pause the video. I know I'm going a little bit fast. Uh, and then now what you can do is we can actually type in uh, circle. I spelled circle wrong. Circle. And we can grab this circle with a hole inside. Make sure you grab that one and scale it to your preferred size. This is going to be so our players can escape the arena map. And go ahead and make the transparency to one. And now, for example, when you spawn here, you cannot jump out of the arena, see? Can't jump out. Okay, now another thing that you can do is we can go all the way back to the One Piece Island and grab a teleporter. This is going to teleport us to the island. But really, pretty much all we need is basically just this telepad. So go ahead and go into the frost, uh, frost two. Grab the telepad and delete the model, and you have your little telepad now. Uh, scale it to where it's like you can't see it, and uh, make the. Uh, I think yeah, I think that's good. Just uh, teleport to, or a uh, skeleton where you can't see it that much, and I think it should work. Let's go ahead and test this out really quick, and then we'll move on to the powers. So you're gonna play here, and then here you see this big spawn. I'm gonna go, yep, sure, sweet, it works. And then now we can start making like the anime stuff, like the the powers and stuff. So, uh, what we can do is go to the, uh, I think like one, two, three, four, five, six, the six links in the description, and we're going to be using these as our magic, our little, uh, our little attacks. So, uh, what you can do is we can go, oh, once you're done downloading those, go to workspace, click the plus, add a folder, and rename this to, I don't know, don't delete and drag everything that you have here in to there. So now we have a little clean workspace. Uh, and then now, 
uh, which once you're done doing that, you should have the the tools, these tools, uh, in your uh, toolbox or your little inventory. So go to the four little dots where I'm pointing right here with my mouse. Click them, and you should see all of them right here. I've already downloaded them in the past, so I'm going to scroll down until I see them. But what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the light beam attack. Is there a little light beam attack? Um, so you see all this confusing stuff here. It's not confusing, I promise you. Uh, left or uh, I'll show you how to do it. So uh, hold left click on the light attack re and go into replicate storage. Now go ahead and go to the light attack client and drag it into starter player starter player scripts. Now go to the light attack server server script service. Now go to the beam and put it into server storage and I think we should be good. Let's hit play and let's try it. Now uh, press Q and aim your mouse where you want to shoot. You should see this thing right here. Yep. Okay. And then you can start moving now. You can start shooting and stuff. Uh, if you want to make the cooldown like less time and you want to make the distance farther, Go to the server script service light attack server and you should see local cooldown. Change that to two or whatever you want. And now scroll down and then you see a local distance on line 85. Let me actually go in a little bit. One second. You see this uh, local distance. You can change that to 50 or whatever you want, how far you want the beam to go. And now we're done with that. So what we can do now is we can go to the ice magic next. Make sure it's the ice magic. All right, and then this is actually pretty simple. Go to the ice creator, put in the server script service. Now get the ice magic activated. Put in the replicated storage. Also make sure you're an explorer. Now go to the input detector, drag and drop it into starter player scripts. One second. Okay. Uh, okay, so now what you can do is well, go to the. Let me find it. One second. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Uh, go to the fireball magic. And you see this little fireball? Uh, again, it's pretty simple. Go to the create fireball, put it in the server script service. Now go to the detect fireball, put it into star player scripts, and get the on ball fireball or the on fireball thrown into replicated storage. One helpful tip: anytime you see any of these, they're most likely going to go into replicated storage, and most times you see these, they're most likely going to go into server script service. Because see, this is a script, and it's going to go into server script service. So that's just a thing to know. Yeah. Now what you can do is you can go to Earth Magic, drag and drop that in. Again, the same process. Script and do or Earth Attack and Earth Script Service. Detect Earth Magic and to Star Player Scripts and Earth Magic re into replicated storage. Um, what you can do now is you can go to the Lightning Ability, drag and drop that in, and it's, it's literally going to give you the same process for every single thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Earth Magic or Lightning Creator into Server Script Service, Create Lightning into Replicate Storage, and Input Detector into Start Player Scripts. And Boulder Throw, we haven't done that, I don't think. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Boulder Create. And you should get the process. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, and then one thing we want to do again is we want to create a safe zone. So go ahead and. Uh, Look for a safe zone. So type this in or try and find this safe zone by Rai underscore E E S T K I. Drag and drop that in and it should look something like this. Uh, if I find it, I'll leave it in the link in the description. But if I can't find it, uh, I'll try my best to find it. So uh, go ahead and scale that to where it fits the entire map because you don't want your players getting like destroyed while in the lobby by like other players uh, so you have it filled to the entire lobby but it looks like uh, this 
this like uh this thing's in the way. Go uh actually we need to ungroup it, so sorry. Go to the folder uh that says safe zone by Rye and uh click the V in Star GUI, hold left click and put this into starter GUI right here. And we can go to the safe zone or uh sorry, workspace, drag and drop the safe zone into workspace. Now hit the little V and go to the sensor part and then change the transparency and properties, change the transparency to one. Okay. And then make sure uh, make sure can collide's off. Scroll down to where you see can collide and make sure it's off. So now when you hit play here, or you spawn, you can test the fireball and stuff out. See, if you press J, the rocks work. And it's because my mouse was right there that didn't work. You can press J for the rocks. And you can press, um, just figure out the keys, which ones are the keys. And then F is lightning. You can just control it with your mouse. Uh, and then G is fireball. Uh, H is how you throw boulders. F is uh yeah lightning, G is fireball, and I think G is also the ice. So if you go here, you can just do some fireball and stuff, test out your stuff, and um, there we go. There's one more thing that we have to do. Uh, you you don't have to do this actually. Uh, just go to Star GUI, click the plus, add a screen GUI. Inside of the screen GUI, click the plus again, add a frame. Um, and just scale the frame to about the size of the screen and then change that to whatever color you want if you have this plugin, it's the roundify plugin uh, just round it so it looks nicer alright and then inside of that you can add a, a text label, name this whatever you want I'm just going to name it to settings text settings can customize it however you want. Um, I'm just going to customize it real quick to font. Whoops, not text font. Font. Alright, and then text color. Sorry, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible for you guys. Background transparency. Okay, and we have a little settings thing. Um, so, pretty much that's all you want to do. Uh, you can add some more settings like duplicating this and for example just going to the text changing it to whatever and then uh, we're going to add an X so go to the uh, frame and then click text button and I, I know my little circle went away uh, and then go to filter properties change the text to a capital X change the text scale uh, text color, it's going to be white, and then change the background transparency to red. Okay, and then you can change the font or whatever you want. Why is it doing that? The font, font. Okay, and then uh, let's see. Sorry, I guess I'm trying to find this. Okay, and then that, that doesn't look the best, but it works. So inside of the text button, click the plus, add a local script. And now, uh, I'm going to leave the script in the description. It's uh, it's the closed GUI, just uh, look for this. It's going to be the only script pinned in the comments. Yeah, it's going to be in the comments instead. So just go ahead and paste that into there. Or if you want, you can just copy this. And I, I, I'm actually, I'm not going to leave it in the comments. You can just copy it because of how simple it is. So uh, there, when you have that, just click the X, and you can go ahead and test it out. So as you can see, settings, we click the X, and here we go. We can shoot and stuff. Our players are safe because there's a boundary, or like safe zone. Uh, just click stop. And I want to add one more thing uh, before we go. I want it to be like sound and stuff, so like anime music or something like that I like this we can get this get whatever music you want 
uh, go into uh, workspace and click or type in sound. Click the sound and then scroll down to properties and you see sound ID. Uh, it should be where the green plus is, or not plus, but where the music thing is. And just paste the ID into there and click the green arrow. There you go. But it won't play while we're in game for some reason, so we had to add a script. So click the plus, add a script, and type in this. Dot workspace dot sound play. So uh, game dot workspace dot sound uh, colon play parentheses. Yeah, it should work. Yep, it works. Yep. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I might make a part two on this if you want me to. Um, so yeah, there, there's your anime game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and leave a like and comment on this video. Please, it would mean the world if you subscribed and liked, because this video took a while, and it's going to be a while to link all this stuff in the description, so just please like and subscribe. It, it'd, be, it'd be helpful for me, so um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.